This episode was so good. Hey, what's going on, everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And if you're hearing me, then you know it's time to get into some Deja Vu House Season 3 tea, honey. Yes, this episode kicks off with a great premiere. We got conversations and we actually got a mini brawl. Okay, let's get into the tea. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you're returning to the channel, welcome back, Pooh. Let's get into it. Now, Deja Vu House, for those who don't know, no, it's not on Zeus, it's on now on this TV, and it is the, the editing is better. You can tell this season got a little piece of coin, okay? Let's get into it. Now, the intro of the show, we see the entire cast that's going to be on this season, although everyone we saw in the premiere is not throughout the episode, okay? So it's a couple of faces that I do want to give commentary on before we go into the recap. This is pre-thoughts. When I saw Q... From season two in that intro, I was gagged. I'm not going to hold you because when he, when Q versus Diamond happened last season, I said, I know now that TV is through with him. I know now that TV is sick of him. The way he took her down and, and kept going back and forth with Diamond, I knew he wasn't coming back. After he fought Diamond, shout out to that security guard who ended up fighting Q on behalf of Diamond because Diamond tried, but it's a whole man. You know what I'm saying? He's back, child. Right after Q, who they show? Duke. Duke is back, and he the one who knocked Joyce last season. It's it's becoming too much, but at the end of the day, they don't pick these people on their spirits, their soul, and their reasonable thoughts. They pick them because they're going to run them views up. Now, let's get into it. We see um, a clip of what's going to happen this season. Naj and Diamond are going to get into it, and they're going to go multiple rounds, it looks like. So, once they give us that mini clip, and it looked like Naj was getting it. I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> It looked like Naj was working, excuse me, was working DTB down to the ground. Um, a couple of ladies we're going to see later in the episode said that every time Diamond lose, she want to keep going. That's all she want to do every time she lose. It's neither here nor there. So we see on the screen that it says four days earlier. So this is before everyone moved into the house. They have a cast meetup. And I think that's pretty chill. I think more shows should do that um, to get to know everyone privileged to them going into the house. Because let's get let's be real. On well, most of these shows, we don't get to know their personalities, their backgrounds, their flair. Because as soon as they enter the home, it's Team Naki. So I did enjoy that. Now we see a couple of the ladies meeting up. Now Naki said that her ex Don is on a cast she said a little birdie let her know that Don has been casted and she felt away but she said she's aware and she wants him to keep that energy now this is the only thing with now Ness TV that you know sometimes leaves me out of the loop I don't know who this person is I don't know who Don is and everybody throughout the whole episode is talking about him like we should know I don't know him so I feel as though I don't owe him anything Michelle says that um this is the last season of Deja Vu House that's why she came back y'all know Michelle is from season one <laughs> shut that eye up and now she's back on season three and I was wondering like Michelle really didn't spill tea because a couple of people were saying it's the last season. I was like, I wonder why they don't just keep going seasons and seasons and seasons, like do 20 seasons like baddies. Baddies do like two, three seasons yearly. You know what I'm saying? But Deja Vu House has always been a show that only drops one season per year, kind of like Jocelyn. And I'm not against that. I think, you know, having that time off is healthy, not only for the girls, but um, for the viewers as well. So Michelle said that she believes that her and Diamond still got beef because every time she goes online, Diamond's still talking about the brawl that they did on season one. So it's a girl named Nola and she said if Michelle gets tired during a fight and doesn't want to fight anymore, she's going to fight Diamond. Now, without even knowing her, I'm already starting to get, uh-huh, follow, follow the leader vibes, a.k.a. follow the leader A.O. That's what I'm starting to get from her. I don't know her, so I'm trying to give her a blank sleep. But throughout this episode, y'all, y'all know I don't like no phony Fefe, and that's all that girl was giving me. You telling me off the strength of her being tired, the fight is hers. So you saying you going to... 
here we go. Let me keep going before I go too far. Now, Nod said that allegedly her and Dom. Now, this is the Diamond show already. Nod said her and Diamond is beefing over her saying that Diamond is over sexualized and saying that Diamond and Gucci need to be replaced as the top couple on Nona's TV. Because at one point, you know how Zeus had Blueface and Krishan? Nona's TV had Diamond and Gucci, but you know, Gucci. <laughs> Let's just say he likes to spread fiery love. You know what I'm saying? So Diamond, once she enters, makes it clear that the Gooch ain't with her no more. You know what I'm talking about it? But Nada said that's where the beef came from. And I'm like, Diamond puts it out there that she's a sexual girl. So if people want to take that and try to throw it in her face, to me, that's really not a dig. I think the bigger dig would, would be Nada saying that she wants to replace um diamond and gucci because you know if it's known that i give up the throat you telling me that i give up the throat really isn't an insult that's like calling a black person black child bye anyway we see diamond entering and i was like yes dtb and i love that they opened up the show with diamond song so they get straight into it diamond comes in and she tries to sit at the empty table so all the girls looking at diamond they face screwed up as if they smell something and they like oh why don't you come over here come over here like that right so that's when we see this guy named colton keep that in mind it's a guy named colton in the mix Naj asks dtb once she gets to their table she's like well how do you feel about me coming on a show and you know i know you may have felt away online how are you feeling right now Naj was giving mature vibes i ain't gonna hold y'all she seemed like she was being mature about it so diamond was like baby girl you're here you didn't have to replace me we're on the same season it's no she so diamond put that to rest obviously so that's when michelle started pressing diamond I about her continuously showing the brawl, continuously talking about the brawl online. Diamond said, I'm a clout chaser. She said, I'm an influencer. I chase clout. I chase everything. She said that fight happened between both of us. So for you to keep telling me to stop talking about it, stop talking about it. She said, I'm 50% of that fight. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is where Naj lost me. And um, I mean, I never truly favored her, but Naj said that Diamond is old. And the last thing I heard, um, isn't Diamond like 28 or 29? Y'all write in the comments, is late 20s old? Child, not y'all gonna be reading me, but I'm just like, for Naj to say that, and I looked, I had to put up the screenshots, and I held a picture of Diamond next to a picture of Naj, and Naj looks way older than diamond to me you know what i'm saying diamond to me could pass as an easy 25 if she ain't even want to tell her real age you know but um, when it comes to nodge hmm, weather than worn so y'all comment below is late 20s old now michelle started to base on diamond after diamond was saying everything she said about me being a clout chaser and this and that she started to base on her and said what she say um, if it's going to be a problem, say that. If it's not going to be a problem, say that. Like, they kept going back and forth. Shout out to Colton because he was trying to mediate little cutie pie. Naj was shading him, too, talking about, ain't you the cameraman? What you doing back? Ain't you a cameraman? But Colton said he wanted to get in the mix of the things. He didn't seen a lot of the action behind the camera. He's ready to step step in front of the camera and give it um, a taste. He wants to enter the arena. Now, Diamond ultimately doesn't feed any of the girls at the table. Um... Diamond has more respect in her heart than me because I would have said all I'm could line it up. You know what I'm saying? Nola, Michelle, Naj, even the other girl, she wanted it. Just line it up at this point. It was a lot of conversations, too much negotiations going on. But shout out to my girl LaRue. LaRue from the Academy. I loved LaRue on the Academy. I really wanted her to win, but it was rigged. Um, LaRue, yes, LaRue is back. And I agree with LaRue. When LaRue came in, she was showing love to everyone. She was getting into the mix of the things. And she was like, some of these girls already giving me bandwagon vibes. And she said, I don't like that for them. And LaRue, I feel you. It's a lot of these girls already on cast who's bandwagon EOs. LaRue came in showing diamond love. And she, look, the girls was flirting. Because the girls end up separating. And we see Diamond, the girl Cookies, and LaRue talking with Colton. And the other girls just salty on the side. 
So um, Colton over there with the beautiful girls, and he like, you know, I'm feeling you, Larue. Larue, like, what's tea? Like, come on, like, are you single? What's up? So that's when Diamond was like, you know what? Colton is giving Andy from season one and her and Cookies was laughing because both of them is from season one. Now, Cookies, I don't prefer her either. She was the bully from season one. She bullied Abby off cash. You know what I'm saying? I don't like stuff like that. But um, they was laughing about him. And I think he's really cute. LaRue was like, so you single? And I'm like, girl. <laughs> I love it. Um, and it was basically giving flirtation teas and stuff like that. I was here for it. You know what I'm saying? The vibes was lit. Naj said, well, wait. So Naj and Mac allegedly have beef. So when Mac entered the scene, Mac was hugging everybody. And when he got to Naj, he was like, so what's up? We cool? We not? So Naj said, allegedly, their beef was over Don. Ah. <laughs> Once again, who is that? But her and Mac ultimately hug. Um, and I'm glad that LaRue addressed Nola being a flunky. LaRue was sitting at the table. At this point, everybody has kind of come back together once, what's his name, Mac comes in. So LaRue was like, it's giving flunky. Because Nola, she was like, you said that. If Michelle get tired, you jumping in it or something. So Nola was like, yeah, you know how Diamond be. Diamond keep want to go round for round for round, pound for pound for pound. And she said, we not doing that this season. If she lose a fight, I'm jumping in it if my girl get tired. So LaRue felt weirded out by that. At this point, LaRue is my spirit animal. So LaRue called that girl outside. I was like, yes! So LaRue and Nola outside talking, right? So, LaRue asked the questions I wanted to know. She like, how long you know the girl? You know, y'all hood friends, y'all childhood friends. What's tea? Y'all, the girl says she knew Michelle for three months. And she said, even though I know her for three months, I don't like bullies. And um, Diamond gives bully to me. So, I'm just like, what would you be if you jump inserted yourself in their beef? You see what I'm saying? So, LaRue was like, so Diamond bullied you? And a girl was like, no, uh, uh, what's your what's your issue with me? What's your issue with me? She said, oh, issue with Diamond? She was like, no, issue with me. Like, I, I'm here for Michelle. Like, even if you got into it with someone, I would jump in it for you. And I'm like, what is going on? I said, what is going on with this girl? Like, so LaRue said she don't like people ganging up on people. And when she walked in, it was giving all the light-skinned girls dislike Diamond. So, of course, you know, Diamond and LaRue are almost the same shade. I think LaRue might be one shade darker than Diamond. So, I'm like, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's tea? Ultimately, they don't brawl because LaRue ended up saying, and of course, she played out on her confessional. She was like, oh, so if I get into it and I'm starting to lose, I'm going to say, um, Nola, Nola. And Nola stood up and like high-fived her. But rightfully so, in her confessional, um, LaRue was like, girl, bye. She said I was checking her temperature and it was very much so lukewarm. <laughs> A glass of water sitting on the counter, please. I was like, LaRue, yes. But ultimately, they didn't brawl because Nola only jumps in fights, obviously. Now, we go back inside... And Naj is talking about her relationship with the mysterious Don, you know. She said Don is too sassy for her. She said he's very sassy, but she said she doesn't think he's gay because he was dating her. Um, I wish they would have put a cricket sound in the background, but it is what it is at one point. And like I said, once again in my notes, who's Don? They talk about him like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's Beyonce or Lil' Kim. Like we automatically going to know who they are anyway. So that's when Diamond, Diamond said, because they were talking about relationships, she was like, I'm not with Gucci. And that's when Cookies was like, girl, please, every time you come back around, you all over that piece again. She made it very clear. She said, no, 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 no. She almost looked scared a little bit. And even in her confessional, she was like we are nothing more than a friend she said I wish him the best but she said he's put me through way too much and like she almost looked terrified and it almost made me think about the news that's been circling around about Gucci if y'all don't know they said he's spreading fiery love to women mm -hmm. they said he got something going on down below they say he's down below they say he's a part of me uh-huh they say he got, <laughs> they say he got something going on down below now 
I don't want to throw no speculations out here, you know, protect the channel at all costs. But I don't know what's going on, y'all. If you liking the video, like the video, thumbs up the video, share, subscribe. Let's get straight into this tea. Now, Joyce enters the um, hookah lounge and DTB and Joyce hug it out. They said their beef has ended and I'm so happy because Joyce and Diamond did not get along on season two at Deja Vu House. But this season is giving love and light. LaRue hugged Joyce and I love this. I love that all my favorite girlies are getting along. Like I said, this is like a three piece sandwich. I said, I love this. But of course, the love doesn't last too long because it looks like as Joyce went around, she was speaking to everyone, saying her her lows, her intros, and Naj just was giving her very nasty energy. So they ended up talking and Naj was like, so who can whoop me? Who can whoop me? And I guess it was Greek life tea because after Joyce left, she was online popping it about who can be who. And allegedly, Joyce said that Cash would dust Naj in a brawl, right? So they was going back and forth about that. And then Joyce ended up sitting down because she didn't want Naj to feel like she was trying to escalate it. So she sat down right next to her, right? So do y'all know Naj balled up her fist and banged Joyce right in her face? It took Joyce one hit. Boom. And Naj, it's not. <laughs> and Naj dropped to the ground. Now, this is my thing. Keep your hands to yourself. If you didn't want her reacting, keep your hands to yourself. But that's actually where it cuts off. So we see a glimpse of next week. And basically, all the girls in there outside of Diamond and LaVer was trying to get to Joyce. But my thing is this. Because Michelle was like, how could you do that? You know what's between your legs and stuff like that. My thing is this. Even if you are trans, do you allow people to put their hands on you? And then Naj banged her right in her face. Joyce dropped her one time. That girl dropped, y'all. Dropped. Dropped. She dropped her on her. Yes. And I'm like, at what point? You know what I'm saying? To me, Naj acts for it. It is what it is. So we see that. Next week, all the girls versus Joyce. Of course, Nola is trying to get to her. And that's what Joyce said. Joyce said, Nola, please shut the got before I give you something to Nola just wants to insert herself that's what she gives me but on a positive vibe there will be men on this season and guess what now on this TV day they lined up 20 I guess or more of the hottest now on this TV men and the girls all the women on cast and I guess Mac and Colton get to choose what men are entering the house. So Diamond was like, it's a 20 V1 with the now Ness TV dudes. And I said, this show is so much fun. This show is fun, y'all. But I'm thinking, are Duke and Q and Gucci in this lineup? How are they ending up in the house? <sighs> I just don't like that because... Like, those two frighten me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have my own personal experiences, but Duke, like the beginning, ever since I recapped um, Deja Vu House of him, it's something about his eyes that frightened me. And Q initially didn't frighten me until he, well, I knew it was something about him. But then when he started putting his hands on Diamond, I said, there we go. So, you know, I must be able to alert you know, energies of men who will swing. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, as a episode one, this was awesome. As an opening to the season, this was lush. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Once everyone moves into the house, it's given. But you guys comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Have you seen Deja Vu House? And what did you think of this episode? Comment below. Share. Like, let's get it going. But remember this. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'll do the best I can with what I got. Oh! oh.